Every Halloween, people like to bring up the three G's, ghosts, goblins, and ghouls. We all know what a ghost is. And goblins, that's easy too. It's a little green guy, lives underground, hoards treasures. But a ghoul? I don't even know where to begin with that one. I, I've been talking about ghouls my whole life. I have no idea what they look like or what they do. Do you? Picture a ghoul in your head right now. You're probably just picturing something from like a video game or a movie. That doesn't count. What is a ghoul? That's the Halloween question that we're going to answer today. And where I like to go to get my good, fast answers, well, I go to twitch.tv. What a ghoul is. I don't know. Aren't they like creepy ghost things? No, I don't think it's a ghost. A slimy ghost? Wouldn't a slimy ghost just be a ghost and sin? You guys are talking about ghouls? Of course we're still talking about ghouls. What else is there to talk about? Dude, I don't know. I don't know what a ghoul is. Eh, I was afraid of that. All right, well, maybe one of these other streamers knows what a ghoul is. And next. Um. All right, uh, she looks like she's busy. I'll just check on another streamer. Man, what is going on here? All right, next streamer. Oh, come on. Oh. All right, well, it looks like Twitch has been taken over by a bunch of people who really, really like their microphones. So I'm just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way by doing my own research the way God intended. What the hell? Are you a ghoul? See, I don't even know if I'm in the same room as one. Nope, two. There's two in here. Here we go. Let's start off with the Webster's Dictionary definition of a ghoul. Ghouls. Noun. One. A legendary evil being that robs graves and feeds on corpses. Two. One suggestive of a ghoul. Now, that doesn't narrow it down at all. Going by this definition, I could be a ghoul after doing enough bath salts in a cemetery. So why don't we start off simple? What does a ghoul look like? Ghoul sighting on tape. Oh, this might be the quickest lesson ever. And show me that ghoul. That's a ghoul, huh? All right, so that's definitely not what the thing behind my couch is. What, what are you? Are you a goblin? Because if you're a goblin, there's no treasure in here, so you'd just be wasting your time. All right, whatever. Let's see some comments. Ghouls are really real? Oh my god, maybe I'll get a chance to do one myself. I heard ghouls are monsters in which hungry spirits take control of the decomposed body of a corpse, rise from its grave, feast on the dead bodies in cemeteries all over the world. If you encounter any ghouls, bring a double barrel shotgun. Marvelous voodoo. You are wrong. Ghouls are a type of djinn which are immune to physical damage. Only magic and recitation of the Quran can save you from them. Or you can summon or befriend the type of djinn that is the enemy of the ghoul, which is in a form of a desert sandstorm that protects good people if the djinn you met is good himself. Oh, I always knew that about ghouls. Sandstorms? Yeah, totally. Gin? Whatever. Aren't those genies? <laughs> Obviously. All right, here's my comment. I also heard that ghouls like to hand out blowjobs like they're candy. And that's where that tradition comes from on Halloween night. But then we had to switch to actual candy once it became a holiday for children. Unless that thing propositioned you for a quick little blow guy, I don't think you're dealing with a ghoul there. I think you just ran into a homeless person. I mean, I always thought a ghoul was like a magical flying skeleton corpse with a little bit of clothing still on it and can cast spells and shit. This is just a video of a wild man who lives in the forest. And if he's a ghoul, then that means the movie Nell is about a ghoul too. Which, by the way, makes that movie like a thousand times hotter. And that's saying a lot. And post. Now I did notice some clues in that comment section, like the ghoul is tied to Arabic mythology. So why don't we learn a little bit more of that? Maybe we can get to the bottom of this, maybe find a photo or a drawing or just something that's a fucking ghoul. Mythical creatures lore. What is the ghoul? Well, if he's putting the question in the title, that means for sure he's going to answer it. And play. Regardless of how the ghouls came to exist in Arabic lore, it is known that much of the facts about the creature come from the famous work Arabian Nights. Oh, this guy's really breaking it down. I'm taking some good notes here. Don't worry, I got you guys covered. Another interesting feature of the ghouls of early legend is that they are not particularly associated with eating the dead. Oh, don't eat, they don't eat corpses. Okay. They were known to prefer fresh meat. And while they didn't turn down the corpse if they had the opportunity to eat one... But sometimes they do eat corpses, got it. They were also known to enjoy drinking blood, stealing coins... They, they steal coins, alright, all right. that's a little goblin-y right there. In many Arabic myths, there are descriptions of ghouls which are very hairy. 
That is also possible because they are known to have canine features. Got it, they look like dogs. It is also important to note that there are ghouls in these early myths with the power to shapeshift. Dogs who can shapeshift? While it was possible for them to change into any kind of animal, it seemed that the popular choice was that of a hyena. Hyena, got it, hyena, but also any animal. Early ghouls were thought to have humanoid bodies and hoof-like feet. Hoof, hoofs? Okay, hoofs, they got hoofs. They were known to prefer crawling on all fours, even though they were capable of walking upright. Oh man, I'm doing my own research so fucking hard right now. The creatures are reported to be sensitive to light as well. Allergic to light. So like a vampire, got it. Additionally, it said that these ghouls can also access the memories of the person they devoured via eating their brain. Oh, that sounds like a zombie, but that's still good research. Lastly, it is suggested that although some ghouls have a fierce temper and appearance, Others are capable of blending into human society well. I'm starting to get an image in my head now of a ghoul. This is great. The myth of the ghoul predates even Islam. But because the ghoul is mentioned in the Quran, the creature is still a source of terror even today. Hello, I'm Muslim and an avid mythology reader researcher. I have read of the Quran whole and the word ghoul was never mentioned in the Quran that I'm sure of. Please refrain from spreading false information. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, there goes that research. So what you're saying is a ghoul looks like a hairy person with hooves, but also looks like a dog and can shapeshift into a normal person or a normal dog or hyena, and that it does not eat corpses because it eats living things unless it doesn't have a choice and then it will eat corpses. It steals coins for some reason and walks around on all fours except for when it stands upright and walks around like a person. Or sometimes it just straight up shapeshifts into a person who walks like a normal person and looks like a person. Classic Halloween monster, the ghoul. Yeah, I can see why everybody talks about ghouls every Halloween with how recognizable they are. This is gonna be the easiest Halloween costume ever. Thanks, man. And post. Well, great. Now I'm more confused than ever. It seems ghouls have every single property that other monsters have. I don't know about you, but uh, I prefer my commonly referenced Halloween tropes to be simple. Like, for instance, a killer baboon. <laughs> Yeah, that's Shakma, a genetically mutated baboon who kills a bunch of med students. Oh, and guess what? It's available right now on today's sponsor, Shudder. Yeah, I've been subscribed to Shudder for a couple years now, and they're definitely my favorite streaming service. So this is a very exciting opportunity to make them an ad. I hope I did them justice. Uh, see for yourself. Ah, oh, this place is a... Dump. Well, if you two screw-ups want to pass my class in occultism, they're going to spend the night. And in the morning, you will tell me about all of your experiences. Ah, oh, wee! Oui. Come on, Professor Hinley. It smells like cabbage in here. What's so important about this joint anyway? Had you shown up to my class more often, you would know that this is the site of the 1984 Goathead Killings. At this very site, there was a bloodbath, a massacre. They never caught the killer, but every Halloween since, they say he returns looking to murder the last remaining member of that family. Me. Hey, bro, check it out. This place has Shudder. Oh, what's Shudder? Oh, just the premier streaming service for horror, thriller, supernatural series, all uncut and ad-free. Can the two of you pay attention for one moment? I'm trying to tell you about the Goathead Killer. Holy shit, look at that catalog. They got Night of the Demons. Dude, I watch that every Halloween. Oh yeah, bro, not only does Shudder have all the old school classics, they got some of the best new horror that you could ask for. Oh, they have Psycho Gorman? I've been meaning to watch that one. Not to mention Shudder Originals like Creep Show and The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. Plus, Shudder's celebrating 61 days of Halloween right now, so it's the best time to sign up. They're dropping new shit like crazy. I watched VHS 94 last night. It scared my tits off. How is it you remember all this ad copy, but you fail every test? Yeah, whatever, dude. Hey, go to Shudder.com. Use coupon code BIGMONEY to get 30 days for free. Heavens! Boys! Boys! Look! Hey, man, you cool? Yes. It is you. Isn't it? Not really moving that fast, is he? No, he's got all that shit around his ankles. 
So you said it's Shutter.com and promo code Big Money. Yeah, thirty days free. You want some recommendations? Please. Oh, dude, just check boys. it out. There's so much good shit. Run, boys. I must finish this on my own. I'm the only one who can stop you. This is for our dear mother. You know, I was getting pretty sick of having to track down every horror movie I wanted to watch, because I watch a lot of them. Oh yeah, Shudder's the obvious choice then. He got me. Codehead caught me. Whoa, how, bro? We can barely move. Look at him. He's, he's farther back than when he started. I got too close. I, I was trying to protect you, boys. You must warn my daughter. Warn her. Warn her. Think we got time for ginger snaps? Uh, yeah. What have you got there? <sighs> 61 days of Halloween, huh? That's my kind of streaming service. Oh yeah, it's gonna take that goat head guy 61 days to even get here. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Shutter.com promo code big money for 30 days for free. <laughs> Huh? Oh. He can throw, man. He can throw. He can throw. Oh shit. I knew I should have dropped out of college. Jump into the 61 days of Halloween on Shutter.com. Use promo code Big Money for 30 days free. All right, and we're back. Hey, Couch Goblin, what did you think of that Shutter ad? Wait, what does that mean? Too too long? Oh, well, fuck you. I bet your favorite ad's really short, and it doesn't know what a ghoul is. Like this one. Hokey Bites with the Gabagool. Hey, it's me, the Gabagool, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make these Deets and Watson Hokey Bites for your Halloween guests. All right, this is a recipe? Not on. This is friggin' delicious. Yeah, we get it, man. It's Gabagool. It's a deli meat. Not for nothing. But now, you gotta chop him into little pieces so your guests can enjoy him. I don't get it. He's a ghost? As I understand, a zombie of sorts. Very allegorical, by the way. See, you're confusing the shit out of these people by calling him a ghoul. Hey, thanks. I've been sitting in my kitchen for hours now, staring at a full-sized hoagie, thinking, how the hell do I turn this into smaller bites? Until, of course, this video showed up. Also, this ad was way too short. You gotta make them four minutes long like mine so people complain about it in the comment section and drive up engagement while at the same time getting people who skip the ad curious enough to go back and watch it so they don't feel left out of the conversation about how long the ads are. Now you're thinking like a ghoul, I think. I have no idea what a ghoul is, but it's probably not an Italian guy in vampire makeup. Where's the dog face? Where's the shape shifting? Was the hoagie the ghoul the entire time? Why are police turning in their badges over a vaccine when the only other job opportunities for them are in Amazon warehouses? These are questions I expect answers to, Dietz and Watson. You know, depending on the amount of hooves that make it into your deli meat, they might actually be ghouls. <laughs> Post. Anyway, before sitting down to do this lesson, I sent out a little tweet to my students asking them what a ghoul is. Maybe some of these answers can be helpful. Nope, nope, I can already tell this is not going to be helpful at all. Nothing. What's a ghoul with you? Ghoul D's nuts. Got him. When you burp after a mad bong rip and smoke comes up. What the undead scream when they score in soccer. Why don't you ghoul it? Not much, man. What's ghoul with you? It's a tall ghost. Or a short ghost. Actually, never mind. Ben Platt is Evan Hansen. Ghoul, 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 farting and shitting. Depends on what mythos or legend you are looking at, but your mum is a pretty good example. Hmm. In Scotland, ghoulies are testicles. Hope that helps. Not much. What's a ghoul with you? A ghoul is the offspring of a ghost and a mule. Just some guy. Dude that eats other dudes, I don't know. Unsubscribed. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for nothing. Man, I, I feel like I've exhausted every website on the internet at this point. There's not much left to do other than say fuck it and just play some video games. Oh, here we go. This is so much better than doing my own research. Hey Saskia, I, I got a quick question for you. Do you mind? Can you tell me what a ghoul is? A what? Yeah, you know, like ghosts, goblins, ghouls. What's a ghoul? It, it's a creature that- oh, oh, what the hell? He was trying to tell me what a ghoul is. Hey, do you know what a ghoul is? Oh, god damn it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, just shoot his body. Hey, you know what a ghoul is? What is this, the Heaven's Gate server? I thought ghouls were ghosts. Yeah. And I'll show you a ghost. <laughs> All right, well, maybe people will be more mature in this server. Hey, guys, everybody gather around. I got a Halloween question. Who here knows what a ghoul is? No. A ghoul. 
It's like a ghost but different. A ghost but different. What? Well, what? The, what would that look like? Yeah. Straight. A duel is an undead creature that eats it corpses. Was it usually stays around, around graves, but the thing is, it will eat people if they get too close or go uh -huh. off alone. It's like a zombie, but it's not. All right. Well, hey, for what it's worth, that was the clearest description anyone's given me so far. So high five. Oh shit. Hey you. What about you? You know what a ghoul is? That's a ghoul. Yo, bro, listen, they were shooting at us. <sighs> hey, listen, I feel like a goal is like something that would kill humans and it will also kill people that are dead. You're saying it's a zombie that eats dead bodies. Well, this, I don't know what the hell a goal is. Nobody does. That's my whole point here. We just slaughtered all these people. Yeah. Maybe we're the ghouls. Ah! <laughs> well, just as I thought. Nobody can agree on what a ghoul is, looks like, or does. And I was afraid of this, which is why I came prepared. I bought this cursed spellbook off the dark web. This thing should be able to summon a real life ghoul in this room, so we can finally put this whole thing to rest. Let me just, oh, it's already going, okay. Jesus Christ. <coughs> That's a ghoul? And, and what do you do? Oh! Oh, that's disgusting! Get the hell out of here! Get out, you pervert! You stupid ghoul, get out of here! Oh, what the hell, man? Alright. Well, I guess the next time somebody asks you what a ghoul looks like, I'll just show them a picture of that thing. Case closed. You're welcome. Well, this was Big Money Salvia for Internet Common Etiquette, and I'll see you next. What the fuck? Hey! <gasps> hey, stop stealing my coins! Don't give those back, you stupid goblin! Oh! I hate Halloween! He's Big Spooky Salvia, Lord of the Night. He's bringing the terror and the ghastly frights. Martin Shakralatin and Alex Bones. Leave your lights turned on if you're watching all alone. Now hang on a second. You know I wasn't gonna play these end credits without letting you know where to get that sweet neon grizzly Halloween hoodie. That's right, it's at neongrizzly.com, the only place to get the nutraceuticals your naked body needs. AKA clothes. Go to neongrizzly.com and get yourself a spooky Halloween hoodie for this spooky Halloween season. Or wear for Christmas if you're a fucking goth. The ghouls and goblins knocking at the door. Selvia Stein's monster is hungry for more. The beasts are howling of their king, they're afraid. He's Big Spooky Salvia, he's bouncing on his boy's grave. Big Spooky Big Salvia. Big Spooky Big Salvia. Salvia. Big Spooky Big Salvia. Big Spooky Big Salvia. Martin Chakrelatin Martin Chakrelatin